Welcome to this short presentation on how Informatica Cloud MDM can help you manage data across multiple different instances of Salesforce. Now, this is a, a growing uh, need, really, where businesses of various different sizes can end up either through strategic choices they've made um, or just through organic growth, can end up with multiple instances of Salesforce, known as multiple orgs. Um, now, <clears throat> the challenge comes when you try and start to do roll-up reporting uh, across these various different orgs. So, for example, if you have an exact, uh, you know, an instance of an account or multiple accounts that are, that are represented in each of these different regional orgs, as shown in this example here. Once I try and figure out what the total amount of revenue being generated for a particular customer is, uh, and the data strewn across these various different orgs, as well as potentially on-premise and cloud-based systems, that actually gets fairly challenging. Um, but fortunately, Informatica Cloud MDM makes the whole process uh, very straightforward to do. So there's a few different uh, ways in which this problem can be solved. Um, the most common pattern is to have a global reporting hub, which is you know where you'll you'll use a specific org uh, that you have, either an existing one that you have or you create one. And that global reporting hub will actually be used to roll up and de you know deduplicate and consolidate the various different uh, instances of your customer uh, across the globe. Uh, and then roll up the various different uh, records underneath that so that, for example, you can get a quick uh, understanding of the, the total amount of revenue for a particular customer. So let's look at this in a bit more detail. So in this example here, um, I have uh, you know one instance of Salesforce. I also have a copy of Marketo. Uh, I have an on-premise data source. In this case, it's SAP. And I also have another org um, in the UK. Uh, now, this customer, CNA Insurance, is here, uh, could be across every single one of those different data sources. So if I've got, uh, you know, an opportunity in my main Salesforce org, I've got another opportunity in the UK org, I've got various different leads coming from Marketo and product information, previous orders, perhaps, uh, from SAP. So if, if I'm to answer that question, how much... Um, how much uh, is CNA Insurance actually spending with us as an organization, then I really need a way to look at all the various different permutations of that account and consolidate it into a single view of that customer and do so across all of these different data sources, including uh, the separate Salesforce org there as well. So let's take a look at this in action. Um, I have an example set up here, which I'll take you through now. So here I am logged into my global reporting hub, and I've got uh, Cloud MDM installed here. Uh, I'm logged in as an administrator, um, so let's have a look at what I've what I've got in front of me here. So the first thing is this account, uh, Acme Brick Inc., uh, that's in our global reporting hub also exists in our Asia Pacific org. Um, and so we've used the uh, cloud in, uh, Informatica Cloud Integration Service to actually uh, to uh, push all of the uh, accounts that we've got in our Asia Pacific org into our global reporting hub to sit alongside all of the existing accounts that we had in there. Um, so the first thing that Cloud MDM has done is to look at all those different example or instances of the account records and figure out that they're actually the same uh, customer, the same account. So if I go into my consolidated view here, you can see this in action. So at the top, we've got the existing account. Uh, and then below it, we've got what we call a golden record. So this is the best representation of everything we know about this customer across the various different data sources. And if I scroll down further, you can see the various different data sources that have contributed to this golden record. So this is really where the magic happens because CloudMDM has figured out that you know the instance of Acme Brick in SAP uh, is the same as the one in the global reporting hub. And you can see further down here, we've got 
two versions of Acme Brick in the Asia Pacific org. Um, again, both of which have been uh, grouped together um, so that instead of creating duplicates, it's all um, related under the same uh, single representation of that customer here. Um, and you'll see why that's uh, so critical um, shortly. So that, that so that's the first step is that we've consolidated all those different data sources, including our Asia Pacific uh, version of the Acme Brick. But as it happens, the question we're trying to answer here is how much is this business spending with us globally? Um, and um, it just so happens that Acme Brick is actually a subsidiary. It's not the main key account that we're looking for. And I know that because we've got our account hierarchy that's, again, uh, represented by CloudMDM here. And we've purchased this information from Dun & Bradstreet in this example, but I could have equally used CloudMDM to uh, build it through drag and drop or taken it from any external uh, on-premise or cloud data source via the integration service. So it, CloudMDM has automatically built this visualization out here. And I can see that according to Dun & Bradstreet, this Acme Brick is actually a subsidiary of Berkshire Hathaway. Um, so the key account that I'm really concerned about uh, in terms of total spend is actually Berk Berkshire Hathaway there. So um, fortunately, because of the um, because of Cloud MDM providing this concept of an ultimate parent, it doesn't matter how many levels down Acme Brick happens to be, we can roll that all up and know who the ultimate parent is. Uh, and what they're spending with us across the board. So I've created uh, a report here, and this report uh, shows how much uh, revenue we're actually making from Berkshire Hathaway. Again, this grouped up by the ultimate parent allows us to do this. So you can see here we've got the ultimate parent, Berkshire Hathaway, and below that we've got two existing opportunities that are in the Global Reporting Hub, and they're aligned to Acme Brick. So what is going to happen when uh, a sales rep actually creates a new opportunity in our Asia Pacific org that is actually selling to this Acme Brick subsidiary? Um, so let's take a look at that now. And I'm going to, uh, I've just logged in here. I already had this connection open, but I'm now in our uh, Asia Pacific org. You can see here, that we, we're on a different instance of Salesforce. Um, and from here, I can see that in this version of Acme Brick here, I've got a slightly different address details and name, and but that's okay. We know CloudMDM is going to see past that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new opportunity as a sales rep here. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to give it uh, a name here something fairly uh, easy to recognize. And I'm going to set the close date to today. Uh, let's just uh, mark it as uh, prospecting for the moment. And uh, I'm also going to give it an amount. And I want to do something fairly um, noticeable. So let's put a, a nice sizable chunk of cash against this deal. Um, so I've marked that all up and now I'm going to save it. Um, and while that's just uh, saving the background, I'm going to switch back over to my Global Reporting Hub. And if we take a look at the Opportunities tab, uh, I've actually got um, a couple of views here. The first one, you can see that we've already got some existing opportunities. But if I switch to this second view that I've created called All External Opportunities, it's it's already showing that we've got this contribution come in from the Asia Pacific org. And we've used the Informatica uh, integration service to send that to CloudMDM in real time, um, which is all well and good. I mean, the integration, um, obviously, it's great that we've now got that in this org. But if we didn't have CloudMDM, that would actually be of very little use to us because we wouldn't know which account to put this against. Obviously, the version I've, the account I've actually got in this org is, is different to the account I've got in Asia Pacific, even though they, they look the same. 
But uh, thankfully, CloudMDM has figured that out, and it's automatically associated this opportunity up to the correct golden record um, uh, version of Acme Brick. So if I go into that record, you can see that instead of the existing two opportunities, I've now got our three opportunities, including that contribution from Asia Pacific. So how has that impacted my uh, report? So let's go back and have a look. Um, and just before I refresh, you can see here, um, we've got the ultimate parent, Berkshire Hathaway, and Acme Brick, and those two existing opportunities. Now, if I just run that report again, and there you can see straight away that we've got that significant contribution that's come in from Asia Pacific. And instead of being uh, duplicated or double counted, it's been automatically hooked up to the relevant um, single version of Acme Brick here. And it's also been put into the hierarchy so that we know uh, that actually this rolls up to Berkshire Hathaway. And I can see that the total spend has now gone up from uh, 4.3 uh, million we had before to 9.375. So that just uh, that really uh, comes to the end of our, our presentation, um, and I hope uh, hope this has made it a bit clearer how uh, Informatica Cloud MDM can uh, help you um, roll up these various different uh, data sources into a single view of your customer uh, inside this global reporting hub. So thanks very much for watching, and please do check out our website, informaticacloud.com, uh, and also our YouTube channel as well. Thanks very much.